This is Twit. Midnight Rider asks, should the speakers be towed in, that is, angled and pointed at the center or at the, the money seat, if we will? That, that's a great question, absolutely. Um, there's very few speakers, actually, that have a wide enough dispersion at the, the upper mids and the higher frequencies to allow the left speaker, so I'm going, I'm going in your direction, right? This is the mm. left for you. The yes, left correct. speaker to actually cover the right seat at the higher frequencies if it's pointing straight back. I recommend right. towing them in. You could tow them in as, as much as 22 degrees because that would make them point right at the middle of the room. Sometimes just towing them in 10 degrees is all it takes. How much do you know? Well, there's a really simple test. So um, there's a, a test signal called Pink Noise. It's my favorite band, by the way. Pink Noise. <laughs> um, that, that you can get from many different test disks. You can download it off the internet. You can actually get little signal generators for your iPhone or your, your Android phone. And you can play that into the channel that feeds the left speaker. And you can just play it out of the left speaker. And then what you do is you walk back and forth or, or sit back and forth across the couch and listen in the middle. Listen over on the right, listen on the left, and make sure that, um, actually, listen on the left, listen on the right, it's all backwards, <laughs> and make sure that, the, that this overall spectrum, the overall quality of the sound is identical all the way around. That means everybody is getting the same sound. Right. Um, and then you can try towing the speaker in and out a little bit and figure out where it starts to drop off. It's pretty significant. You'll, you'll hear it with most speakers. Yeah, okay. Well, then let's get back to your presentation. All right, uh, hold on one second. I'm, uh, I'm still uh, struggling trying to get it back where I want it. Nope. So, nope. Uh, hey, Scott, fill some time. Fill some time. Oh, I will fill some time. Very good. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, uh, Kasi Will asks, does, it have, does having a peaked or angled ceiling come into consideration? And the answer, I would think, is yes. Um, Anthony would, would be better able to answer that question about exactly how, but he's busy. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me let me readjust my comfortable pillow over here. <sighs> All right. Um, <laughs> so so a peaked um, a, a a peaked ceiling is actually not so much going to change where you're putting your front speakers or your subwoofers. It's going to change the standing wave character, and it's also going to add a fair amount of reverberation into the room. So. What do you do with that? Well, one thing you do is to make sure you have some kind of sound absorbing material up on that peaked roof, which is either purpose-made panels or other soft materials you put up there. Another thing you can do is actually pick a loudspeaker that has a certain amount of focus in its dispersion. And there's different uh, types of speakers made by different manufacturers with more or less vertical focus. Uh, true. We were talking about this, I think, a bit last week in, in that line arrays, that is vertical arrays of small uh, drivers do not disperse vertically nearly as much as sort of more conventional point source speakers. And so that would be one, one way to solve that problem. 